A new research project has been given support out of Maths Sustainable Farming Fund. Its objective is to develop ways of controlling infestations of black beetle. Martin Henton is a dairy farmer and microlight instructor and has seen firsthand both on his farm and while flying over Waikato the effect on pastures of this destructive pest. I first noticed it about six years ago that I started getting clover dominant paddocks and then the problem got worse and worse and then I noticed that the new grass that I was using was not lasting as well and something was drastically going wrong with that. Especially after 12 months, the amount of pollen that I got the following autumn. So that's when I got some help in to try and identify the problem. What you can see in terms of the damage is we've got a healthy AR1 plant here, but then I've got a huge gap that's actually only now filled in with plantain and yarrow and some docks. And the little bit of grass you can see is actually wild type endophyte grass that has actually come back. This paddock's only three years old and I would expect after 10 years old it should look like this. What we'd like to know is the best practice that we can actually minimise the damage or the impact to our farms. We'd also like to know a prediction model of, of when an outbreak may occur, like really badly, and give us some warning as to you know, what's best to do before it actually happens, the damage in the autumn. At the moment I've been putting in a break cycle of turnips and two spray outs and then planting back in an AR-37. But then I had the problem with the uh, wet weather and Poa is a host for black beetle and of course I got some Poa in my AR-37 and the beetle came in on that. <sighs> so I don't know, we need, we've got a long way to go. Dr Warren King from Ag Research explains what the studies have identified to date. The last three or four years have seen very high black beetle numbers throughout northern New Zealand and especially in, in Waikato and Bay of Plenty. We've been uh, recording uh, black beetle population densities as high as 100 per square metre. Now, to put that in some sort of context, 20 per square metre is considered to be uh, damaging. And so at 100 per square metre, it's, it's devastating. Best practice management at the moment consists of three separate pieces of technology. Now, individually, each one of those pieces of technology are, um, are, are, are no silver bullet. So the first thing we're looking at is uh, the endophyte. Now, the endophyte container ryegrass has come a long way. Um, the, the new endophytes that are available now do give pretty solid protection against the black beetle, and, and the two are the best in class, really, are AR37 and NEA2. Now, you've got to couple that with using a proprietary insecticidal uh, seed treatment. Now that provides protection for the emerging seedling at a time when the endophyte really has yet to kick on. The endophyte effect doesn't really come into a ryegrass plant until it's perhaps uh, six weeks old. And in that critical early life of the emerging ryegrass seedling is when the black beetle adults are emerging. And so that combination of, uh, of events means that the black beetle are voraciously hungry and can really clean up a, an emerging new pasture. The last point is that you need to plan and it's about, it's about trying to spend some time away from ryegrass. Um, now if you can uh, go through a crop for instance or um, and I, I've heard of uh, people using chicory or going through maize crops, going through turnip crops, anything that the black beetle um, uh, will not favour, uh, does not find uh, particularly palatable, will give you an opportunity to break that life cycle. Ag Research has introduced another tool for general use called PestWebNZ to help identify pests in order to work out the best way to control them. PestWeb is a website that we've developed primarily for farmers but also for others working in the agricultural industry to help them with identifying key weeds and pests in pastures. So you can go online with a weed or a pest in your hand and go to the website, you can go to the identify page and answer some really simple questions about weeds and pests, and then narrowing it down to get to your weed or pest. There's 32 of them on at present and we will continue to expand that number. You can sign up for a free pest web alert. You can say what region you're in and what weed or pest you want the information about. And I'll give you an early warning about that weed or pest so you can know what to do to best control it. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.